Good morning, folks. Today, we've got enough data to issue the next earthquake watch. We've got planetary nebulae that'll blow your mind, new planets discovered, and a magnetic field animation from the ESA. We'll also check out the lithosphere, atmosphere, and space weather. Let's begin there. Spaceweathernews.com in the last 24 hours on our star show a lot of surface surge activity, but none of it was able to lift away and come at Earth. The half-cocked coronal pushes of plasma and charged particles likely left most of their material in the solar atmosphere. Solar flaring continues to be anemic, nothing doing despite the surge in sunspot number, and the Earth-facing quiet continues. Beta polarity at every group, but there are no collisions. The magnetism is well spread apart, with most mixing potential being at the periphery of the groups. Furthest incoming way up north appears to have actually spread out a bit, without any new umbral production. Solar wind, you see yellow speed dropping over the last day and a half, and that means we're back to ambient calming conditions in Earth's magnetic shield. Over the last day, moderate earthquakes and unusual location rumbles were the top news. Hello, Australia. Another one in the North Atlantic Ocean there. We have not had any six magnitude earthquakes in the month of May. Last set of coronal holes had their influence quashed by geomagnetic activity, but by tonight the northern opening will be facing Earth with its trans-equatorial extension just a few days behind it. Top articles begin here. So planetary nebulae are very cool to look at, but what if we could image them in 3D? You might be able to see things that look like electromagnetic influence rather than gravity. My mind goes to barred spiral geology, David LaPointe's bowls, the Z-pinch from Anthony Peratt. One hopes the Thunderbolts are taking note of this one. Kepler announcing more than a thousand new planets. The story and some of the details are linked in that article below. Also this, animation of the magnetic field weakening from swarm shows a continued scary trend downward, albeit with a very confusing article attached to it. We're going to discuss that more soon. Top weather stories include more tornadoes popping up in the U.S. overnight, this footage coming out of Kentucky, and also this, low pressure intensification over Africa this past weekend caused an incredible amount of rainfall to drop on Rwanda, landslides took out 500 homes and took 53 lives, most of them children. The region is very hilly, but drainage is slow in the lowlands, however, so flood and landslides, big concern for them. Folks, we've got literally hundreds of hours of material at suspiciousobservers.org. Podcasts, special features, and deeper looks into the news stories that touch on our most covered topics and concerns. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got pressure and radar forecasts coming for the globe here. Also got some shots of our star to close. It's a somber day as one of your fellow observers lost a tiny beautiful angel. Her and Kira would have made good playmates, my friend. Our hearts are with you and little Kenzie. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.